Hey guys, it's Tim from Team2910 here. Uh, welcome to the beginning of the Mark III uh, Mini Swerve Chassis uh, build series. Uh, so this first episode here is to explain the uh, CAD, um, which I conveniently have open. Um, so the main goal of this uh, chassis was to kind of build skills within our team by allowing members to uh, build a chassis when, you know, um, things are a little different right now. Um, as well as to uh, have fun with uh, making a compact, lightweight, uh, low CG, small form factor um, Mark III chassis. Um, so let's go over uh, what, it's, uh, what it's like. So um, as you can see, we're using 2x1 here, 10th tenth, uh, tenth inch thick walls. Um, we're lightening it quite heavily with a little bit of an ISO grid pattern here and that 2910 on the front just for fun. Um, and then the Jester hat logo on the back. Um, so one of the big things was obviously trying to keep the CG as low on a bot and we definitely didn't want the battery to be uh, in an upwards configuration because that would be a big uh, majority of this bot's weight. Uh, up in the air, so to keep uh, electronics as low as possible, we have this bent sheet 5052 plate um, that we're going to be ribbing to the 2x1. Uh, so we have the PDP, uh, the Rio, as well as the radio, um, all attached by screws or uh, zip ties for the Rio to uh, this bottom sheet to keep everything as low to the ground as possible. And then as it's angled, it'll also kind of help as skid plates if we decide to drive this, you know, on the berms uh, for 2020 or something like that. So it's a little bit of a double purpose um, bottom belly pan. And then on the top, we got a nice lightened uh, eighth inch sheet here. Um, this is also retaining the battery and then there's standoffs that go through it all the way through to the bottom. Uh, we have these uh, screws in ten uh, quarter twenty screws in top, quarter twenty screws in the bottom, and then hex uh, the hex standoffs through the middle. It's attaching everything, and that's what the battery is resting on, with you know uh, distance between the PDP and the battery for uh, breakers. Um, we're holding the RSL and the breaker up here as well. Um, and then uh, on this spot, we're going to be using a pigeon, uh, but because the Rio is at an angle due to the bent sheet plate. Uh, we're going to be putting this 3D printed piece underneath the pigeon to keep it uh, parallel to the ground. And then over here as well, we have a printed case for the uh, radio, displaying lights here and all the points available there. And then obviously, uh, one of the main highlights of this uh, chassis is the Mark III's, which have that you know cool new packaging with the uh, encoder in the middle and then a shaft through both gears. So that you uh, kind of reduce part count and in theory some backlash as well um, so yeah we hope to uh, have a lot of fun with this build hopefully this will be a lot of fun to drive um, and you know we have something we can show off at assemblies show off at events maybe get some underglow on it uh, and make some little bumpers for it and uh, yeah so i think that's all i got uh, for this first episode um, the, CAD, the cad will be posted publicly um, if you want to check it out and uh, I think I'll see you guys um, next time.